All right, y'all, welcome back to another video. I'm out here chilling, vibing in LA, Manhattan Beach, eating a protein bar by myself. Savoring this moment, savoring this bite. God damn, that shit's good. I'm with friends right now, but I, <laughs> I snuck away from them. So I wanted to make this video to remind you guys to have love in your hearts. What is love? Love is self-love. Self-love for an individual, self-love for another individual, come together, boom, beacon of love, shoot it down the rest of the world, everyone else gets inspired by it and starts to have self-love for themselves. I feel like in today's world, especially with the, with the dynamic between men and women, we are in competition with each other. And that's the human side of us too. We have the human instinct side of us, and then we have the spiritual soul being side of us. And they come together and they make us. So I feel like we're a little bit too competitive right now, and we should try being a little bit more collaborative, not what can I get out of her? What can he get out of me? Or how is he gonna fuck me over? How is she gonna fuck me over? And just, you know, all these things, competition, blah, 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 instead of how can I help them? And how can they help me? And how can my immense amount of self-love and their immense amount of self-love come together and inspire others to have love for themselves? That's what I think true love is. I don't think it's something that's given. I think it's something that you find in some fucking magical world or whatever, like we've been programmed to think. It's inside. It's literally right there. It's in your heart. Open that up. Open up your heart. Open up your heart to yourself. And you start opening up to other people that have their heart open as well. So have immense self-love for yourself. How do you do this? I've said this before in another video, but I'm going to keep saying it again because I need to reinforce this. But it helps me, It helps me, you know, and it helps you guys. And if it helps me, it can help you. So first step that you need in building self-love is, in my opinion, again, I'm just some 20-year-old guy talking to you on some screen. Don't take my words as gospel. But what has helped me get out of my mental fucking hell and mental just fuckery is to, for 30 minutes, I sit alone with myself. I go on a walk. I turn off the music. I turn off the TV. I turn on my phone. I'm not even listening to podcasts. I don't even have headphones or earphones in. I go outside by myself. I'm not with anyone. And ask myself important questions of what does David want? Not what does the David want? What does the, what does the world want out of David? What do my friends want from me? What do my parents want from me? Like, what do I want for myself? What do I love? What do I love doing? What am I passionate about? That's something I really didn't know until like three, four months ago, man. It's been tough. Like I'm 20 and like I'm just now figuring this shit out. And if I can help speed that up to you guys, if you're 16, 15, or if you haven't found it, if you're like 40 years old, 50 years old, try doing that. Shut off all external forces, shut off all other voices except for the one in your head and really be okay and comfortable with that. It's going to be very uncomfortable at first. You know, when you're going out on a walk, you don't have your your music to go back to, you don't have your friends to talk to, um, and you got to listen to the voices in your head and sometimes it could be very, very negative. It's going to be scary at first, like, holy crap, I really think this about myself, why is this? But it's an awareness. It's being aware. Being aware is like half of it. You're not ignorant anymore. You're aware of what's going on in your head. And once you're aware of something, you can fix it. You can help yourself. You can fix it. So yeah, 30 minutes by yourself, going to walk. Have so much, you know, immense self-love for yourself. And opportunities, you know, money opportunities, just love opportunities. Manifest, like, you know, money, financial, love traveling just beauty just being able to see everything in, in a I'm, I'm doing it right now like i'm looking out at this ocean and at these people and just where i am looking at myself and uh, i just got so much love you know it's just that's just all i know right now it's better than being depressed and sad it's so beautiful out there
you know, start to find when you start doing this, within a week or two, you, you'll start feeling at peace with yourself. You'll figure out what do I want to do? What do you want to do? Not what does the world want from you, what your parents want you to do, what your friends want you to do, what your family wants you to do. What do you want to do for you? What do you love? What are you passionate about? What makes you get up in the morning? What are you chasing that isn't benefiting you anymore? You start to realize these things and slowly cut cords and cut things off that are holding you back and people and places and jobs and stuff that are just holding you back and start flowing with and going towards the opportunities and the people and the ones that truly do love you and want to help you. And it becomes this perfect collaboration of just love and unity and oneness instead of competition. You know, um, competition is great. It drives business. It drives a lot of things. But at some point in time, we, we got to come together. You know, we got to collaborate. We got to wake up in the morning and ask yourself, oh, how can I help others? Think about it. If we all, if we all woke, even if it's just a small amount of you guys, like if we all woke up and thought to ourselves, oh, how can I help others? Instead of, how can I cheat someone? Or how can I fuck someone over? Or how can I get this? How can I get that? It's, how can I help other people? Good shit will start happening to you, man. Good karma, all that stuff, it will start happening to you. So that being said, I gotta get back. <laughs> and I'm just present right here. Present right here with y'all. You're watching this phone. Put down the fucking phone. Quit out the video right now. Just go out and walk. Go by yourself. You don't even need this. You don't even, I don't even need to be telling you this. I'm just manifesting this for you. You know, if you're listening to this right now, it's a sign. It's a message. These aren't my words, bro. I'm just speaking through the universe half the time. This isn't... I'm not even thinking. I'm just doing right now. I'm just flowing. I'm just feeling. I'm just doing. I'm just saying what needs to be said so you guys can listen to it so it can help you guys and you can just have, just have love for yourself and find love with other people and not operate in guilt and shame. Whatever you do in life, have no guilt, have no shame, regardless of your previous, your past self, and your present self. Let that shit go, man. Accept it. Acceptance. Accept it. Love yourself. Be yourself. Get out of your comfort zone. Commune with the cosmos. Get lost in the elements, man. I'll have more videos on that. But for now, it's just uh, coming back to YouTube, I guess. The YouTube. <laughs> um, and yeah, dude. Just vibe, man. I'm out here vibing real, real quick. I'm just vibing with myself. Dead ass. Sometimes I'll have like... Dude, I'll throw like dance parties with myself, dude. And I'm just like dancing by myself, just doing it. Um, I love it, man. I don't need anyone except for myself. But because I have that, I can then help other people and have them be a part of my life. And me be a part of their life. And it's just beautiful. And it's all just collaboration. There's no competition. I'm not trying to cheat anyone. I'm not trying to control anyone. I'm not trying to use anyone. And I'm also vibing with and being with others that aren't trying to control or use me. If you're trying to control and use people and you have that mindset of that, you will fall victim to and you will be with other people that are trying to control and use as well. Where if you are loving and have passions for things and trying to collaborate, you're going to be with those people. It's just how it works, just how the universe works, man. Your mindset manifests your reality. So you better be manifesting good things. You better have a great mindset. Just take it one day at a time. Don't think so much. Just write it down. You know, you, you have a schedule, you have a calendar, follow it. Yes, you know, we're all adults here. We all have to get shit done. But once it's done, don't think about it, man. Do what you gotta do. And then just go back to where you can flow throughout the rest of the day. No one said I love you yet. Know that I fucking love you guys and I mean that. We're all one consciousness. The only thing that makes it different is our ego individual egos which mine can like flare up at times i can agree on that and i'm working on that you know uh but for the time being i'm gonna use it to talk to you guys and i fucking love you guys so that's it man vibing out what's up mr homie <laughs> and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one